Up next we have uh, Herman Ponser, who is doing this without a script. <laughs> what people in this room went on the walk for thinking earlier this afternoon? And what people needed food after? That's because animals and people need food to walk and run and climb. But life is really about turning food into babies. <laughs> so it's important to know how much food animals need to walk and run and climb because they can't use that food to make babies. And so the food it takes them to walk, run, and climb might change the way they act or are built. So. Uh, big animals need more food to walk, run, and climb uh, than small animals. That's not surprising. But for how big they are, small animals need a lot more energy to run, even though they're pretty good at climbing. And that is surprising. I think I know why. Uh, and here's how it goes. Uh, I think it's because of how the red things inside us that move us do their job. Now. When animals take steps, the red parts inside that move them do two things. Uh, each step, the red things turn on and off and move the animal. When they move the animal, they do work. When they turn on and off, they still need food. If you take a red thing and check it, you'll find that if you turn them on and off, they need more food to work if you turn them on and off a lot than if you don't turn them on and off a lot, even if they do the same work. So, if we check this red thing and we turn it on, it will do some work and it will need some food. If we turn it on and off, hmm, it will need more food. If we turn it on and off a lot, it will need even more food. I'm not making this up. <laughs> so the food that the red things inside that move us need when we walk and run and climb uh, the food is to do the work and also for turning on and off. Now, in animals, bigger animals have longer legs, take fewer steps, and so have fewer on and offs. The red things in bigger animals need a little less food to do work, and climbing up means more work than running or going down. So, if we put this together, here are the numbers. The food you need to walk, run, and climb is on and off food plus work food. <laughs> How big is the animal? Is it going up or down? Everything else is numbers. <laughs> We can check this against what animals actually do. So we can check what the numbers expect against what the animals actually do. People have checked this in a lot of animals. Big animals, small animals, tiny animals, different animals. It works. The numbers work. I'm not making this up. These numbers work for all kinds of animals, climbing, running, and walking. So now we can use these numbers for all sorts of animals, wherever they live, even if they don't live there anymore, even if we only have the hard white things inside that were inside them before. <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you, Herman. I'm super impressed. <laughs> uh, 